Can you hear me now? I can hear you, but... Okay, okay, that's okay, that's okay. Now I can hear you. You can hear me now? Yes, 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 go. Okay, great. Is this our first class? No, we, we have... Class? We haven't spoken before. We have spoken before? Yes, yes, yes. All right. Um, Maybe you are not... You are unable to identify me because I have I have changed my you know look. That is why. Maybe. If you Maybe. remember, we had a hair connection regarding relationship. If you remember, Ratan Tata, Bill Gates. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Got it, got it. Yeah, I remember. Now I remember. Yeah. yeah right. So it's been so long, right? Since our last class, yeah. it's been weeks. Yeah. 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 So how has the journey been going? Journey is uh, going good. I am enjoying. I am, yeah, everything is going good. Great. So you feel like you are learning? You are improving your English? Yes, I am improving my English as much as I can. Great. See, uh, I see that you have completed almost 130 sessions on clapping, right? Yes, so, yes, yes. So, has there been any kind of specific exercise that you do or uh, specific feedback that you followed for these classes that has helped you in your English? Like, see, when you initially joined Clapping Go, you would have had multiple tutors telling you multiple things. Like, you know, one would have told read, one would have told listen, uh, some would have said watch movies. So, has there been any one particular advice that you have followed from day one that has actually helped you improve? Like, consistency is what I'm looking at. You know, yeah, there are many those guided me to, you know, read, watch, listen to, and these all things. But these all things are common, modest, you know, every people, uh, you will get this kind of opinion. But, uh, and I used to know that if I will, you know, listen every single day, if I, if I will read every single day, if I watch, every, but one to do guided me, to watch, you know, web series. Mm. Web series that will improve your English communication immense, right? So I've been in the middle of the, uh, you know, days I left for almost one, uh, one month or one and a half months. But again, I have begun working that. So... Mm. Yeah, but before so you know, joining Clap Fingo, I used to listen. I used to listen a lot. I used to listen. Uh, that's what I'm doing. So you feel like uh, listening to um, what was that web series is actually helping you a lot. I mean, watching web series is helping you a lot. Which I'm used to listen to for past six or seven years. Right. Right, right. You are frozen. I could not hear you. Could you repeat? I I, I have been listening to podcast for past two or uh, sorry, six to seven years. Mm -hmm. Right. So, and that has helped you with your English, like basically yes. sentence formation and all of that. Yes, yes, yes. Right. I don't really remember uh, the entire class that we had last time. But I do remember that last time when I spoke, I think you used a lot of fillers, like there were gaps in your conversation, like you used to stop and think. But I can already see that that has gone. Like now you're able to continuously speak. Be it perfect English or not perfect English, but you're at least able, uh, you're confident enough to speak continuously without having gaps in your conversation, which is a very big improvement because this is what will help you with your fluency in the future, right? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear what I said? Yes, no? yes. I, I, I heard that uh, there are 
immense you no know, transformation in communication uh, yeah. earlier i had to uh, now i little uh, i i yeah. have little yeah the confidence level has increased in such a good way that you are able to speak continuously without having the fear of will i make a mistake should i think before i say something so that is a very 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 big improvement because this is what will help you with your fluency in the future because of you so, you know <laughs> <laughs> this is our job so yeah so keep this going whatever it is that you are doing to improve it is actually helping you and i can see that so keep that going so it will help you in the future right okay yeah. so today's topic for you is human cloning are you aware of what is cloning 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 and something changed in the same way right that changes some clone that means i have to create something uh, artificial there is a you no know, tree and 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 i took uh, uh, seeds of tree and made some you no know, fertilizer with that and i have to i by artificially i will make it in the hubo <laughs> uh, understood understood uh, right that is clone according to you and this is the people are cloning of human human also you know they don't that yes human clones so clone is basically i don't know if you've heard of this term it mostly comes in these uh, web series it's called doppelganger ever heard of the word doppelganger no so no okay so a clone is basically somebody who looks exactly like you exactly like you like you cannot if both of you stand together you cannot make the make the difference you know who's the real one and who isn't they are actually both real but they are completely different when it comes to as humans we can say dna but in cloning we will say chemical formulation mm -hmm. right this so like you said it is artificially chemically human based yeah. creature that is made to replicate a naturally available creature so humans are naturally occurring species right and mm -hmm. uh, scientists try to replicate humans by creating robots who look like humans those yes. are now now you cannot literally call a robot a clone because they're not but somewhat similar something close to like you understood the idea that is called cloning yeah, yes yes okay um okay they have given you certain extempo topics that you can speak on the first topic is being an only child or the second topic is Zoos cause more harm than good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I I can you speak more about the zoo can more harm than good? No. Ah, great. So being only child. Is... <laughs> Are you actually the only child? I'm sorry. Are you the only child in the house? No. Uh, yeah, I am the youngest one. I am the youngest one. about okay. uh, i am isk joint family right okay. so being only child i had it when i used to be under 10 i had the habit of i i was wishing oh one day i will be you know uh, younger younger then i will or my family will fulfill my wishes because i will make money and they will respect me a lot whatever i ask to you know cook they will cook whatever i will ask to cook it my wishes i will do it i will buy so many things i will travel around the world i will do this i will do that i like to do like a freedom because i am uh, from the family we were not used to get you know so much freedom so much you know this day our kids are getting they will ask okay dad i need this thing get you know in the evening bring that things to this kid you know dad i want to go to just go to eat outside dad will fulfill his wishes but that time when we used to 
be a kid that time we were not going to get that time even we used to get slap what you mm. let the true 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 right. that was a different uh, time altogether today you cannot do that yeah yes yes yes, yes. and true. even if we used to get to, i remember when i used to go to school even if i don't used to get a single penny i'm not blaming my family mm. because i have yet, twice or thrice i have got One rupees or fifty paisa. Twice mm, mm. or thrice in my entire no, I can say no. I try not talk about college, but entire my twelve or fifteen years. Mm. Right. So, so that time, can you imagine in one rupee and fifty paisa itself, you would have fulfilled your dreams? I have remember you know, in three rupees. Uh, you know Durga Puja in most of the you know part of India they celebrate and Bihar, UP, Jharkhand, Bengal, you know in east part of India Durga Puja being celebrated. It's you know, a very big celebration. Big. So there are three or four days of that mela used to mm-hmm. fair in Calcutta in our area. And my mom used to give me three rupees for five days mela. Just for three rupees or five rupees, you know. And we, I have no matter. We have no. We said mela. We have eight things in three rupees. I have complete. I'm talking about around before. So, so one second. That three rupees was enough for five days. For, for five days, you no. Know? For me, I it was enough. Most of the parents used to give twenty rupees, fifty rupees, hundred rupees. All this depend on the family. No, no, I am not. I am not asking about them. I am asking you. Like for you, three rupees yeah. was enough to fulfill your dreams in that five days. Three rupees, five rupees was enough. Yeah. Oh. Maximum I used to get five rupees, and five in five rupees I have to fulfill my all. You know, fear uh, the misses and buy toys and these all things. Yeah. I'm like talking this- about before two thousand one, two thousand one, two thousand nine, two thousand nine, something like that. I when I used to be under. No, no. Yeah, something like under. Yeah, teen, teen years. Yeah, teen before, uh, before ten. Before ten. Okay, much before ten. So okay, right. So three rupees. Me, you, you used to go for five days. I can't really digest that. You can't imagine. Oh my god, that so, is a different time altogether. Today, you can't even give somebody who comes to beg. You can't even give them three rupees. Even, even, even I, I, we should not share because the the video is going to be uploaded in YouTube. I should not. But even I help, you know, people, right? Right. More than my capacity. One of no, uh, 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 the place where I help, you know, I do not come amount of my, you know, paycheck. Oh, Deepak, you earn this much money. Can you do do me this amount of money? Even I have to millionaire, billionaire do not do not this amount of money. They 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 give you hundred rupees, maximum two hundred rupees. But you are, I don't think you are earning like you are millionaire and you are doing this amount of money. And it's all about God, no? Yeah. Whatever I do, I'm because of God. And if I am not helping, okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
so they are elder to you mm -hmm. okay okay so you are three yeah three boys okay yeah. <laughs> nice i have to i need to have a uh, conversation with your mom to actually understand how is it to bring up three boys what <laughs> because because um i don't know it's a as a mother i feel it's a very challenging job to bring up a boy than to bring up a girl like at least you know at, at least we are living in a age where you can still force a girl and she will succumb to it like she will be like ah okay yeah we are not living in that generation anymore but still you can at least put some kind of pressure but on a guy a mother will always think to put pressure because she knows immediately when you put pressure he'll leave the house so it's very difficult to bring up one boy i have to ask her how it is to bring up three male children because no, when you are saying I, 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 you can I, you can't see my goosebumps i know i am feeling goosebumps in my because yeah. i have remember my childhood how my, no my parents not so us my three brother all of us we had very hard time in my our life we had and when, now when i remember i thought how the no sure even my 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 father has not good amount of pay check you know when i mention the the amount you will say oh how did he did that without even making us feel that you know his paycheck is not big like you would have never unless and until you came to the age of earning and actually getting a paycheck i don't think you would have ever realized that his paycheck is not that big like they never and, let you know that they gave you everything possible yes yes yeah. and 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 you know oh, i have remember i have left my tuition center because of we had no money to pay the fee uh. i really had not money to i don't know i'm i'm sharing i don't know i'm just here right we had no money to eat vegetables even i you know without vegetables we used to eat bread and what and pickles we have survived on bread and pickles sometimes bread and salt and uh, so so oil we have to put and then we we to eat right so when i remember and that point of view, we had not that much developed no consciousness so we, i used to treat my mom oh i am i will not eat that i will not eat that no bring this or this side this, this thing for me i will not when i remember i i salute my mom and my parents you know now i realize how difficult time it that was yeah So, and, and somewhere and that, I that is why i am i'm so driven about my goals and dream because that was the best if i would have not brought up in that situation i would not be able to you know help someone in my society i was just going to say that like it's only because you have experienced what it is to be there that today when you get a paycheck the first thing you think of is helping somebody else that's because you have come from a place like that you know what it is to be there and you will never ever want somebody else to go through that when you know you can help them and, and why I, 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 in the beginning of this conversation i said why i used to not get money in, 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 when i used to go to school because we had not mm. even a single you know my mom the brim parents should you know they wish to give money so that he can eat something you know when he go to school and something yeah like yeah that. so that is why i say you know i have seen those hard time so that i can i never plan oh i never uh, you no know, buy in order to which i don't need to order to impress people you know i do not want to you know i am making this amount of money and i i will do you no know, i i try to live simple as i have grown up mm. So that you know, I have so my friend. You know, okay, where I am from? You know, so, oh, Deepak, are you make, you are making money today? This amount of you are planting, you are you know, extravagating something like that. There is a fizzle culture, right? Don't do so. 
I, I must respect money. I, I, I must respect people. And I try to, you know, make impact. No, I, 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 I am. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand that, you know, coming from a hard time and earning money is very easy. Money has a way. Okay, money has and, a way and, of making you proud. And, and it's and very easy. Just today, I had a conversation with my mom. And uh, you know, uh, there is a conversation going on for my marriage, right? So there are so many you know, relations came for me, and they are not. Uh, I told, they are rejecting me because why? Because I don't have hair. I don't because my hair is falling. I keep shaving. So I say, mom, don't worry about my marriage. I will become a person. Study. I said to her, I will become a person that no one has become in my you know village. You know. More than that, more than that, I feel like when people reject you, especially when it comes to the marriage criteria, right? When people reject you, don't take that as a driving force and say, ah, now I will I will show you. I'll I'll become a better person and show you. Don't take it like that. Take it like they rejected me because they are not the kind of person God wants me to be. They're just not the kind of person who's going to align. Because see, you have to understand, you have not lived an easy life. You've come from hardest of the hardest battles and then come to this. So God cannot just randomly give you any rishta and then get you married to anybody like that. You need somebody who would actually understand those battles, those struggles. And it's very important. So yes. that is why... I, I'm giving you this because I want you to explain this to your mother because this generation is struggling with this part a lot. And generally parents tend to take it to their head and heart thinking, my son is doing so well. Why is he still not getting married? Am I doing something wrong? Yes. Have I done something wrong? So before it gets to that, try to explain to her that, you know, it's not working out because maybe it's not my time and it's not the right girl. Like anybody cannot just come there, right? We've come from a very hard battle. We fought a lot and we came here. We cannot just bring any girl who just wants money. Will you be okay with that? Somebody who's come from so many hardships, earned so much money, and then you will settle for somebody who's okay with just that. Right. No. So it will take time. And one thing I also have to realize, if someone is rejecting me, it does not mean, oh no, I'm not able to, I cannot deserve her. Maybe she cannot deserve me. Exactly. Exactly. That is a, it is a very simple thing that people today need to understand. It's not always that somebody else is bad for us. Sometimes even we are bad for them. But we will never understand that in an easy way. <laughs> Humans are always used to learning things the hard way. Yes. So, yes. And one thing I have, I have really learned. I'm, I'm alone right now. I'm, I have time to work on myself so that I can you know, add value more and more in my personality. And the more I will add value in myself, the more expensive I will be in the market. Yes, yes, true, true. Right. And so, uh, see, like you said, I will become more expensive. Now, when you said I will become expensive, note the point, you're not becoming expensive in terms of money. You're becoming expensive in terms of value. And yeah. you need people who will understand the value. So the it's not easy to find that. Yeah. The person who will understand the value of you know, the things, he will not behind you. Reject. He will not reject it easily because he knows the value. The value. And he will find, yeah. So it will take time to get there. It's and not even if a piece of gold and take it to the you know, barber or barber or you no know, carpenter. Ah, they will not know the value. They won't know the value, exactly. Uh, no, uh, what do we call Shonar, I think. Mm. Johori or Jewelers. No, only he can understand the value of that. The true value, true, true, very true. That is what it is. Because and, I, and I, I have to you did that. I got a call from a, a girl, a father of a girl. She told me, okay. Hey, I I the phone. I said, okay, I'm, uh, yes, I'm defective. Okay, what do you do? I said, I'm a fitness entrepreneur. Why do you look for a job? Why don't you look for a job? I said, 
God, thanks God. Whatever is going on, I am expecting for better. There is something wrong. That is why they are injecting me. True. Very true. You, Very you must try for government job. Did you not try for government job at this point? That you must stay under you no know, for government. You have never seen above that government job. You never seen the life of the government job. Because what? according to them, they have only seen one secured life is when you have a government job. They've never come out and explored and taken risks. Yeah. So that's why they don't understand. That is, yeah. Okay, before our class ends, I want to leave you with a little bit of feedback. Sure. Right? Like I already told you in the beginning of the class, it's great, whatever, I don't know what it is that you're doing after the class, but whatever it is that you're doing, it is helping you with your fluency. So please continue doing that, right? You are not using fillers, which is a very good thing. Now, one more thing that I want to say is in between the lines, right? Mm, like some words you are not getting, right? So what you should do is, it's okay if you don't get it, but consciously try to remember which word you didn't get. Like for example, in today's conversation, you were thinking of the word to use, but you didn't get, so you immediately used the Hindi word. What was that? Fizul Khacha, right? So now you have to go back and ask yourself, okay, at that time, I wanted to say it fast. So I just used the Hindi word and said Fizul Khacha. Now I have time. What is it that I would call it in English? Estuvengit. Now I have Estuvengit means Fizul Khacha. Estuvengit. Ah, so now yeah. how would you say that in English? Yes, I do not want to Estuvengit something like that. I wouldn't want to spend unnecessarily. Yes. yes. That is Fizul Khacha, correct? Got it? So now you will remember what is the word and what is the English word for it. So anytime you come up, it's okay to, you know, use that Hindi word at that time because you want to keep the conversation going. But always try to go back and learn 